Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to UCAT Festival TV. I am Colm Cronin, and today I am very delighted to be joined by Mark Dransfield. Mark, how are you, sir? Morning, Colm. I'm not too bad at all, thanks. Um, now, um, I know that there's the, the potential for, for loud noises as there might be some building work going on, but uh, we'll, we'll see uh, how, we, uh, how we go. So we are in day two of the UCAT festival and uh, day one was a huge success. So well done to everyone involved. Mark, I know you've done some work with UCAT around professional recognition. And maybe you could tell me a little bit more about that. Yes, um, I was involved in a professional recognition pilot project um, just a few months ago when the, the framework was launched. And I was one of the early cohort, if you like, <clears throat> who went through and gained a level of recognition. So there are three different levels of recognition that the UCAT framework offers from recognized practitioner to recognized senior practitioner and then to recognized leader of academic advising, personal tutoring. So it provides three different modes of recognition uh, within the framework. And what I had to do was evidence where in my practice, I was able to meet the competencies that the framework outlines um, and then provide some examples of, of where I might do that in certain situations and how some of the scholarship around uh, academic advising linked in with what I did and informed my practice. So I was uh, one of that early cohort um, and then subsequently I've become uh, an assessor as well for recognised leaders in advising. So I've been part of a group of people who've been looking at claims that are uh, put forward and then assessing whether or not they meet the benchmark standards for, for the certain levels. So that's been a really interesting process. It's one of the, uh, the kind of early, I think, activities that UCATs um, been involved in in terms of recognition and it's nice to be involved in that at the kind of outset of the the whole process. Absolutely and it's great to, to have a framework to, to recognize um, the profession and the work that advisors and personal tutors do um, because I, I know having worked in the area over here um, if, if you lack the, the clear framework um, it, it can uh, make it difficult for those outside the profession to, to fully recognize what it is that we do so um, kudos to, to you and to the, the work at, at done by UCAT um, in getting this um, together. And Mark, I know you were able to attend um, a, a session yesterday. Uh, are you looking forward to the, the rest of the festival over the days ahead? Oh, absolutely, yeah. There's, uh, there's so much stuff going on at the moment. I was looking at the schedule um, a few days ago, but this morning I had a quick look to see what was going on today and over the next couple of days. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, sessions that are kind of practical, workshop orientated, um, and also, you know, some of the evening activities that are socially oriented. So I think this evening's a quiz. Um, the keynotes are always attractive. You know, there's always somebody really uh, with quite high profile talking about academic advice and personal tutoring. And I was also looking at the spread of presenters, you know, with people from the UK, obviously, but also Australia, the USA, um, Netherlands. So there's a really wide variety of presentations and uh, perspectives, I think, from different uh, countries. So it's a, it's a festival that I think is um, really supportive for the whole community uh, and gives those quite nice wide ranging perspectives and also different types of sessions where people can jump in and out of the social or the practical or the theoretical. Um, so there's a bit of something for everyone, I think. Yeah, I think that's a, a, lo a lovely way of putting it. And there, there's so much happening. And for anyone watching, you can find more details on the website. Um, you can also check out UCAT's various social media channels and keep an eye on what is going on there. As Mark said, there's going to be lots of social events happening in the evenings and they should be good fun. So I hope everyone enjoys day two. I want to say thank you to Mark for taking the time to join me this morning. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's been a pleasure, Colm, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you very much.